Hello, thank you for coming to my video today. This is the second part in my stake pool operator series. Um, what we're gonna be going over today is how to set up the block producing node and then have it connected to a relay node using the topology files. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you guys how to set up a, um, a wallet. And then if you guys post, if you guys comment your address down below, I'll send you guys uh, some test net data. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be much, it's going to be uh, less than it is to start a pool, so you guys don't um, start a pool. Um, but I, I'm also going to ask to make sure I'm allowed to do that. And if I'm not, uh, I won't, but I, I'll probably be able to. It's just one ADA or how much ever ADA I can. But um, real quick before I jump into the video, if you guys want to support me, uh, I actually just hit the 1,000 subscriber limit. I really appreciate that. I think before I started making these videos for the friends and family, I was at like 900. So I hit the 1,000 required for that, and then... For public watch hours, I'm halfway there. I need 4,000 public watch hours to uh, monetize, and that'd be really cool. Uh, I was supposed to have a job lined up for the summer, uh, but due to the COVID-19 stuff, I can't actually work that job, and that's the only reason I can actually make these videos. So, I mean, maybe it worked out, but it'd be cool if I got those watch hours. Also, if you guys want to delegate to my pool, I was at, um, like, I think 1.2 million before I made the last two videos, and now I'm at 1.77 million ADA on my pool. Uh, we have a 14% or almost 14% uh, ROI in the last 10 days. So it's been doing really good. We got another block today, so it'll definitely be up to 14% um, after this epoch is over. But if we could make it to 2 million after this video, that'd be really cool. Uh, I think that's around the one block per day, which is where I want to be. But um, let's jump into the video. So this right here is the relay node, and then this is the block producing node. Um, I've got them both up and running, but I'm gonna, I actually just closed them before the video, and then I'm gonna remove the database so we can uh, do that in this video. So this video is kind of gonna be picking up right where the last video left off, and then the video that comes after this is gonna be setting up the things to monitor your nodes. Uh, there's some security issues with that, so it's like you have to do it right so no one can um, can mess with your node I, I mean we're using fake aid it doesn't really matter but i do want to make the video and give you guys information um i was talking to some people on the telegram and the way that you do uh, like the viewing like the node monitoring there's a way to do it with security flaws and then a way to do it without and then the next video is going to be showing you guys how to do that without the security flaws but i want to get um a little bit better at that before i kind of show you guys how to do it you know so so what happened after you guys ran that script the script ran a bunch of stuff. It created um, some, some folders for you or some files for you in your Cardano node. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is making the directories for that. So we're gonna make a directory for a relay node and then we're gonna make a directory for a block producing node. So then the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually remove those so we can start from scratch. So remove the block producing that I made and then remove the relay. So then the first thing that you guys need to do is make those directories. So make the relay node and then make the block producing node. So you're just gonna do nk make directory and then block producing. So then um, the guide that I'm gonna be using today and then also you guys did want this to be full screen. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I made the text larger. Um, let me know if this is good. I'm, I'm on a 1440p monitor. So the text being that large kind of looks weird but I guess it makes sense. Uh, since you guys are gonna, probably going to be viewing this in 1080. So the guide that I'm going to be using to actually set this up today, it's, I think it's a really good guide. It, it takes all of exercise one and throws it into one guide. Uh, you guys definitely need to pull this up if you don't want to just write in all these commands, which you definitely don't want to. It'll be the first link. Uh, this is what it look like. looks like. Uh, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is copy these in here, which is what we're going to do right now. And then you're going to do this for each of the folders. So, so let's make sure we have those up. So we'll go to the relay first. And then we're going to want it to uh, wget on all three of these. So that's the config. This is the genesis. And that's the topology file. So then now we need to go to the... Um, I thought I got out of that. So now we need to go to the block producing. Yep. 
and then do the same thing. So these files are actually gonna be the same for each. Uh, the difference being the, um, your topology for the relay node, that's gonna, that's gonna be where you wanna connect to the, um, like the actual friends and family test net. And the, the file you download from the wget, uh, we'll just go ahead and have a look at it real quick. So this is the uh, address that you use to actually connect to the friends and family test net. So for the block producing, all you're gonna want this to be is the public IP address on your Google account. And then we also need to make a static IP. So I'll pull that up real quick. So um, since you're connecting to a bunch of other people, you wanna have a static IP address. Uh, you have to do that in the Google Cloud Console. And then I'll pull that up and show you guys how to do that real quick. Okay. So all you're gonna wanna do is once you're here, you're gonna to want to go to IP addresses, wherever that is. Just click it. Yep, external IP addresses. So then you're gonna, there's gonna be a little option right here. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to change that from, um, that you're gonna to wanna to change it to static. There should be a little drop down menu. Just click static, click confirm. Um, it is going to charge you a little bit more per month. Uh, just make sure you guys watch your Google kind of free money. Make sure it doesn't go to zero. But yep, just change that to static. And then after you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and copy that IP address. And there's a little copy thing right there. So you can just copy that to Clipboard. Uh, you got to be a little... So I'm using Nano to edit these files. You guys can definitely do this in a nicer way. But you got to be careful actually messing with these files. So this is the block producing node. So all you want in this one is that address, port 3001, and then valency. And, but, so if you mess with these JSON files in a wrong way, it'll actually mess them up. So you gotta be careful with that, especially in Nano. It's, it's pretty easy to do with like a, a Windows text editor, like, um, like something you'd use for coding, but it, it's just, it's pretty bad doing it in Nano. Uh, but the other two files, the config and the genesis, can stay the same. And then we're just going to go back to the uh, the actual relay node. So for the topology file in the relay node, you're going to want it to have that and the friends and family. So we already have the friends and family right here. And then all we're going to want to add is the other one. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm just going to have it just work because if I do that right now, it'll mess up the JSON file in Nano and I just don't want to mess with it. So the second thing you're going to want to add here is the address for this. And then the second address is going to be the same thing, except it's going to have your external IP that you copied from Google. And then um, you, you guys also want to, you might want to go in here and change the settings in your config but you wanna have the same config files for, um, for both the relay and the block producing node. But the ones that I had you download, uh, they are, they're already set up and they're already set up for the monitoring too, which is what we're gonna do in the next video. So then after that, you just have to start both of the nodes and then um, let me make sure I have the ports right. Uh, if I were you, I, I actually definitely would read these guides though. Uh, this kind of video is kind of just gonna get you started but uh, you need to have a different port for the uh, both of the nodes. Um, the port for the block producing node needs to be 3001, and then the port for the um, relay needs to be 3000. But when it connects to the other node, it needs to be 3000. So let me go ahead and edit that real quick. Um, I'm gonna do a little cut to where I have the JSON file set up so I can actually use my computer for that. Okay, so I got the, um, the JSON files for both of the nodes set up. It, it's, it's not too hard. Just follow this guy directly. It's exactly what I did. Um, 
The relay node, like I said earlier, it connects to the test net and then it also connects to your node. Uh, I'm not sure if this one should go first, but I went ahead and did so anyways. Uh, just make sure your point, your ports are set up right. This is 3001 on the um, block producing node and then 3000 on the relay node. And then, so now that those are both set up, you're good to go. Uh, what I went ahead and did is opened up a new terminal window instead of doing the um, Tmux new, which splits it into two. Uh, to do that quickly, all you have to do is click this and then just go to a uh, new connection and it'll pull up another one. But now that you have that set up, uh, the only difference in between, so you just need to start both of these. And then you, uh, on the, on here, it starts the block producing node first with port 3000. So over here, I'm in this, I'm on my block producing folder. So then I'm doing this and then let's just, I'm going to read you guys kind of the setup for this. So Cardano node run in the topology file, which is what we made earlier, the database path, which we just have set the DB. So it's going to create that folder, that directory in here. And then the socket path DB slash socket. And then the port is going to be 3000 because we're in the block producing node folder, not the relay. And then a dash dash config FF dash config dot Jason. Um, I'm in this folder. That's the only way this is going to work. So if you're in the Cardano node folder, it's going to be different. You have to reference these files differently if you're in the Cardano node folder. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be in the folders to do this just to make it easier. And uh, I haven't tried it, but it should work. All right. So yeah, the block producing node is up and running. It's going good. So then now we got to get the relayed node up and going. So then we can actually just use that same command that we typed in, but we need to change the port over from 3001 to 3000. And then everything is going to be grand. I do need to copy that though. It's uh, what is nice about this is that it makes it a lot easier being able to use the actually the um, the same folders, which is which is pretty cool. For some reason, I didn't copy. There we go. Uh, did that do that right? It looks like it. And then remember, like I said, we need to change that port over to three thousand and one, and it should work unless I messed up the JSON file. Okay, I did mess up the JSON file. It is working. So now that we've got both of these nodes up and going is when we can start doing um, stuff like making a wallet address, which is pretty cool. So now that we've got both of those up and running, let's open up a, another connection. And then this is what we're gonna use to, um, to actually make our first wallet now that we're connected to the friends and family test net. And like I said uh, earlier in this video, um, I will send you some ADA if I'm allowed to just comment that down below, just comment your address after we get it. And then I'll show you guys what actually what your address is once we get it. So, uh, I guess maybe the first thing we should do is make a keys folder. Um, I'm going to make a directory called keys, um, V just for the video. And then we'll do CD keys V. And then now that we're here, there's nothing in here cause we just made it. So the first thing that we have to do is um, generate some keys and then we determine wh what those actually generate to. And then uh, I always kind of have trouble copying this directly from the uh, guide. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it out. So uh, the first thing we need to do is do the key gen. And then you actually can determine what these files are called. You don't have to uh, follow what I do here but I'll show you guys when you actually determine what the files are called. So then after you type that in, you do verification dash key dash file. And then this is what you name the file. So we'll just name it uh, key dot V key and then dash dash signing key file. And then we do uh, key dot S key. And then Oh, I spelled file wrong. Let me make sure I did all that right because I'm typing it out. Verification, key file. Yep, looks right. So, yep, you can see that we have both of those there now. And then you can actually do cat to actually see what's in them. Um, yeah, I can show you guys this. It doesn't actually matter. I was kind of a little worried there. I was like, oh, my ADA. But no, it doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't type in cat, did I? So you can do cat and then it'll show you. 
freeform text. So feel free to um, to hack that if you would like. I'm not going to put any hit in it. Because um, I think that was actually my hidden key, V key. I think so, yeah. Or it might be the other one. Or no, it's probably .s key. Dot .s key is probably the secret key if I had to guess. Okay, so now that we got that set up, we're just gonna build an enterprise wallet. So what's the difference between an enterprise wallet and then the other wallets? Uh, an enterprise wallet, you can only send and receive transactions. There's another wallet called staking, um, and that has another file associated with it, and that's the wallet that you can actually use for staking. Uh, but the whole staking wallet and all that setup is probably gonna be coming either in the next video, where I get teach you guys how to monitor the node, or the video after that. It's probably just gonna be the next video, because I like to do kind of two topics in one video. But, um, Let's go ahead and get this built. So we need to do Cardano dash CLI Shelly address build dash enterprise. And then we need to reference that payment verification file. My bad if I'm being slow about this. I'm just like checking it, making sure I'm typing it in right as I do it. The key dot V key. And then, so we wanna put this actually in a text file so we can reference it again, or it'll just display it later. So what you do for that is you put an arrow and then you can just call it whatever file you want. So we'll just call it address. And then I spelled Shelly wrong, so it messed up. I wasn't doing very good at checking when I said that. All right, so it didn't give us an error message. So now we should just be able to do cat address. Yep, so there's that address. So this is the address that you guys can actually paste down below. Um, and then if I'm allowed to, I'll send you guys a little bit of ADA, to get you going. And then, um, so the last part of this video is actually, this is kind of a, a way of checking to make sure you're, you're, you're connected. Uh, what you need to do is you need to export this to the path. So I'm going to show you guys this command. You need to copy this over directly from here, but we're going to have to change it a little bit. Uh, they have it set to the relay, so we might actually be able to do this. So we're going to copy that. Copy that, paste it right in here. And then, so we want to do the relay node like we had it, but since the way that we're set up, uh, let's see if this works. So it should be downloads. If you guys have it set up the same way as I do, Cardano dash node and then forward slash, and then the relay, and then the DB, and then the node.socket. But what I noticed is it's actually not node.socket for me, it's actually just socket. And we'll see if that works. So then we need to go actually check in our relay node to see if the socket is actually called that. Because you guys can usually just copy these um, these guides directly but where I run into problems is the last video for example I showed you guys how to like build everything uh, you can run into a lot of problems there and then also the um, kind of just the referencing your files because we have things set up differently so then we can go to DB and then yep so it's just socket so that should have worked for you guys if it didn't you just got to play it around with a little bit this is kind of what I had the most trouble with in this guide is that and then if you guys need any help of course like always you can just comment down below um, if anyone else can help out, I would really appreciate it. It's kind of a lot for um, me to help everybody, but I don't mind it. Uh, so now that we got that set up, we should be able to go to the keys file and then run a different command. So this command is going to be, so first I need to actually get the address. So we're going to do cat. I'm, I'm in my folder that I actually have money in just so I can show you guys this transaction. So then we got that address. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is copy that and then you're gonna to wanna to type in uh, Cardano-CLI Shelly query filtered-UTXO dash dash and then address. And then you're gonna to wanna to paste that address that we copied obviously. Did I spell that right? Yeah, it looks right. And then we're gonna to wanna to type in slash slash testnet dash magic 42. And well, uh, you can see the transaction down there with, uh, I think that's a trillion Lovelaces. 
Uh, it's actually a million ADA, and that's um, what I'm going to use to send to you guys if I'm allowed. I'm going to be dishing that out. But um, yeah, that's the video. Uh, it was a lot quicker than the last one. Um, tell me what you guys think of the length. Do you kind of do you want shorter ones, but more often, or do you want long, long bangers of videos that I throw together? Um, but yeah, I would just love to hear some more feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day.